Welcome to our lesson about scene styles. Scene styles provide a background for your scene. Let's begin by clicking the Scene Styles button to open the editor. To activate a scene style, just right click on it in the tree and select Active. As you see, the active scene style is bold. To deactivate it, just right click and unselect Active. The Use Application option lets us use the same background that we used in the Inventor building environment. Under Type, we can choose from four different types of background. The first is Solid Color, and if we select this, we're able to specify the color by selecting here. Let's use Red. The next option is Gradient. Now we're able to pick a second color for the color bleed. Let's click OK. The third option we've got is an image. We're prompted to browse for an image. And then below we specify its position, center, tile, or stretch. We can tile horizontally or vertically and enter the number of instances. Let's say five horizontal tiles and two vertical tiles. Now we've got five instances horizontally and two vertically. Let's make it one vertically. Let's take a look at a centered image. And let's take a look at the last type option, spherical image. If we use this option, the image will stretch to map as a sphere. Let's go to the Environment tab. From here, we manage the ground plane orientation, its shadows and reflections, as well as environmental mapping. The direction and offset fields control the position of the ground plane. Let's reposition the ground plane. Here's YZ. And let's try XZ. And now I've got the ground plane positioned on the XZ plane. Let's enter a value in the offset box, let's say by 0.5 inches. Now the ground plane is offset half an inch from the XZ plane. It goes right through my part as you see. When I render the image with these settings, only the top portion of my model will be visible. The reason for this is that only the top portion of my model is located above the ground plane. So keep this in mind when you're establishing settings for the ground plane. The slider under Show Shadows controls the degree of shadow appearance on the ground plane. Show Reflections. This slider controls the degree of reflection on the ground plane. We've also got the option to use a reflection image, for example, the CAR 3 bitmap. You might be wondering why this is called CAR. Take a look at the CAR that's reflected in the sphere. And let's cancel out of this open dialog window. Let's close the Scene Styles window. We're prompted to save our changes. Let's select No. And this concludes our lesson about Scene Styles.